fucking shit, y'all. I've been looking at his channel and it looks like he has not done a reaction to. Horse. In seven months? Wait. Didn't you see a similar sentence a year ago? Um, yes. But still, we need to get the fuck back to his channel now, Spike. Ah, uh, finally, after a prolonged period, I am once again participating in this reaction. The last instance being on Applejack's day off in July of the prior year. Booyah! Did I just hear that we're reacting to Do Lead Pony again? Of course, Stall Egg Glimmer. We are definitely revisiting this after quite a while. Last time was Spice Up Your Life, and now it's the next episode of Season 6. You read my mind, Rary. Hee <laughs> hee. But yes, it's now the turn of Horse Season 6. Episode 13, Stranger Than Fan Fiction. Well, hello there. This is the episode I attended and went to the Daring Do Convenient with Remy. Uh, I mean, Quibble Pants. Oops, got mixed up with the Pat and Oswald rolls. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen, even when you can see the future. And how will he be able to poke fun at this episode, if I may inquire Twilight? Let's find out, Starlight, because we are returning to his comedy video right here, right now, so let's go. Horse! Oh, hey, oh how'd he help in the room? Good to see you again. Oh yeah, the fact that none of the Daring Do fans recognize Rainbow Dash even though she's on the cover of a Daring Do book, yep, that sure is a thing. But then again, maybe that's a one-of-a-kind cover drawn by True! Daring Do, so we all know we Daring Do is a fucking recolor of you rainbow! On her endless list of abilities. Shit, that's a long list, oh, darling! Stone bridges come with invisible perforated edges. Rainbow Dash, what did you do to Twily? Did you spike her book? I did not do that! An entire convention dedicated to one intellectual property? Yeah, like that ever happened. Is it Mirroring the real life pony concert! Like it's floating around in front of his shirt. Be because on page 84 of Sapphire Stone. For a second, I thought he said Sapphire Shores, and I imagined Daring Do getting into a shootout with her. Oh, you know. Oh, wait. Hold up. Just picture it. Daring Do and Sapphire Shores performing together on stage. Me and Rainbow Dash would be over the moon about it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I can vividly imagine that in its rarity. Imagine that. Yeah. Nah, Ruh -roh, Apple Dash is way better than this one, y'all. Yeah, oh that looks it's very familiar. Daring dude deluxe <laughs> bot body bot body bondage body pillow. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> no, you you know, for kids! That is disconcertingly on the nose. Save me from the dark! Jeez! Body pillows in a children's suit with talking magical ponies like us. That's quite a statement. Typically, we see body pillows adorned with anime characters, but one with daring do is slightly unsettling for me. Who knows what oddballs might be into that? Like that guy. Giggity, 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 giggity. Okay, I actually went to a convention recently, and this is an accurate depiction of the staff at local businesses. Or heck, even every single I'm worker in the beverage industry I across the globe. To acknowledge them. Jar Jar Binks is a lie. Kylo Ren caused the Cuban Stop! Crisis. Someone have, have a conversation no about the Star Wars prequels. These carrots. She's bored. Some drama happens, and then she's happy about it. Sadism confirmed. Keemstar confirmed. Whoa! The amulet of Kulikon. The amulet of what? The amulet of Kulikon. Coolio? The amulet of Coolio? Uh, taken by Cheese Sandwich to make a great parody song. That that amulet of Coolio? Yeah. Hey, yes. <laughs> The animators really love this body pillow gag. <laughs> I just That's noticed the queer. convention bracelets. Nice touch. Oh wow, they actually painted their body to match? I mean, who would actually do that? Oh. Yeah, these oh. people would do that obviously, the darling. Drop from the top of a waterfall. Uh, who led Let the analyst into the convention? The convention. Uh. <laughs> of course he is. He's also over there. Over <laughs> 10 out of the 10 best cosplay. Derpy is best Dr. Cover on cosplayer. <laughs> what? What? Where did these guys come from? So you came up with this overcomplicated plot to lure her into the jungle and exchange it for us. I wouldn't call it overcomplicated. Yeah, it's literally just a lure. They do this in fishing for Pete's sake. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> Hilarious joke. Let Daring do rescue these two. All four? I mean, shouldn't at least one of them stay behind to guard us? Hey, it's in pre-alpha. Don't judge too harshly. They're still ironing out the henchman AI. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Wow, that looks seems was on point there. Convince you. 
Oh my fucking gosh. We got a motherfucking savage over here. Is everything that's wrong with Daring Do? Everything that's wrong with Daring Do? Uh oh, Little Shy, I think they're calling you out. Little Shy! To him? Good thing this is all just a pretend adventure. At least we know all of this. This is a butt shot for the ages. Gee, are we, we honing in on his ass now? Around and go. This was the thing. Is this what, what are these ponies thinking? Right now? We are thinking that we should thank you. You were just waiting in those bushes for a moment to be clever, weren't you, Cab Lab Cab Cab Steve Caballero? Caballero! You're, you're friends with her? Yeah, I don't get it either. But she does with that funny smug face of hers. Seven, locks. Seven ponies, new game from Spike Chunsoft. Has an alicorn on it. It's the Man, it feels good to be a gangster solving really easy puzzles. I am the one huh? He's totally owning the smug game. Seven sides? That's really impressive. I mean, drawing heptagons is really hard, man, so building that thing must have been tough. Yeah, it's tough. Kyle, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, no, it doesn't end with the normal like credits music. Right is, now. is this a bit, like, ad-libbed? I mean, we getting a little getting a little who's line in here, getting a little bit of Rick and Morty in here, getting a little bit of Colin Mockery on Justin Roiland making it? Can we get a little bit of Ed oh, Bunny in here? But yeah, welcome back to Season 6, where wit levels are at max capacity. My brain is working at optimal capacity. I really like this episode. And that was... Horse, Stranger Than Fin Fiction. Oh, that roast a couple is my favorite part from that! I get zero fucks from that, yo. I had a great time watching that video. It definitely brightened my day. Legends say that the burst of pony is still stuck behind the counter at the cafe, looking like she's counting down the minutes until her shift ends. But seriously, I love how he goes off at the episodes with his silly voice. It's always a hoot listening to him make jokes about the episodes with his goofy voice. Absolutely, Indy. Tomorrow's video will be an even more entertaining thing of episode poking, rocky by Little Shy. Make sure to stay tuned for it.